My name is Sarah and I'm a small town farm girl who wanted to move to a big city. So I moved to Cincinnati for college where I received my bachelor's degree in marketing in three and a half years. Uh, growing up, 4-H was always a huge part in my life. Um, I found a very big passion of mine through it, which happens to be sewing. Um, I was involved in sewing for all 10 years that I was in 4-H in and that is definitely a passion that I am happy to have for the rest of my life because I gained so much useful knowledge and useful information about it that is going to be great to have when I get older. Um, through 4-H, I, and through 4-H and sewing, I um, went to the state fair three or four times through the projects that I had, and that was a pretty great accomplishment considering um, how many people did sewing projects in my county. I currently work for the disputes department for a large bank in the Cincinnati area. Um, even though I enjoy what I'm doing and who I work with, it's not one of my passions. And I want to be able to find a job where I actually, where my passion can actually show. And people can tell that I actually enjoy what I'm doing and can see the look on my face every day going into work. Um, and that's kind of why um, I'm applying for this apprenticeship because I want, I want people to see my passion for it. Um, I found out about the apprenticeship through one of my really good friends, Laura, um, who happens to actually work at a um, advertising firm in Dayton called LMG. Uh, we were uh, chatting at our hometown one night and I told her that I was getting into coding and web development and trying to teach myself some, some basics. And she told me to check out this apprenticeship through Sparkbox. So here I am applying for it. Um, and I am currently in the beginning stages of my web development journey. Um, I only started getting into it about six months ago. So I'm trying to um, read as many resources as I possibly can during um, during my free time. What I'm currently working on or learning about is, is HTML and CSS, at least the, the um, beginner version of it, uh, because I would like to be able to build a basic website from the knowledge that I'm learning through taking um, courses through the Girl Develop It chapter in, here in Cincinnati, as well as um, utilizing different free we resources on the internet, specifically Code Academy. Um, I have been using that since the very beginning. So about six months ago, I started us using Code Academy's website, and that has been a very helpful website for me just to learn kind of the basics and everything there is to know about it. Um, and I am also actually taking one of Girl Develop It's courses right now, which is the intro to HTML and CSS class, um, where we're actually building our own website with with whatever information we want to include on it. Um, what I'm doing to get better, I'm going to continue to utilize the Girl Develop It chapter here in Cincinnati by taking more of their courses um, and using their website and all their different um, resources and PowerPoints that they actually provide for anybody who wants to know more about it. 
and I'm going to continue to use the Code Academy website and um, find other resources online that could potentially help increase my knowledge about web development and coding. Um, what part of the web I am planning on diving into next would probably be JavaScript um, because I don't know too much about it currently, but I know that that is one of the essential basic um, items that you should know along with HTML and CSS. So I'm just planning on going into that and um, also mastering HTML and CSS the best I possibly can before I move on to um, things like Ruby or PHP, so other, um, other systems. So that's, that's me.